Hey guys, welcome to the channel, and I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts on KSI versus Dylan Dennis. Now, I know I'm an MMA channel, but I like to cover some, you know, boxing matches every now and again if they're big enough. And this is a big fight, whether you like it or not, even though it's a joke. It's a circus fight, but it's a big fight. Um, I honestly am disgusted because, you know, when you look at JJ's last two fights, he fought two garbage cans of opponents and instead of you know progressing up he's fighting Dylan Dennis who in my opinion is almost as bad as the last two guys he fought so I I'm pissed off you know like I thought he was gonna fight Woodley he was gonna fight you know someone just better than freaking Dylan Dennis Austin McBroom maybe actually no Austin got knocked out by Gibb M maybe like a slim I don't understand why he chose Dylan Dennis. I mean, I guess I understand. They had a confrontation, and now they're fighting. It's just, it's a joke, you know? And I'm shocked that people are like, well, Dylan Dennis is a professional fighter. Like, he's shit at boxing. Like, how many times do these professional fighters go in there and get beaten up by YouTubers? It happens all the fucking time because it's a misleading title. Like, don't look at that and expect this to be a competitive fight whatsoever. JJ is going to destroy this dude. This guy sucks on the feet, and I'm shocked that he does because he trains with Connor. But he doesn't understand how to strike at all. He's a jiu-jitsu fighter. He that's all he does, and he's two and zero. And people are like, people shout on Jake more than they're doing to JJ for fighting Anderson Silva than they are uh, for JJ fighting Dylan Dennis. And this is the same guy who said he's gonna fight Jake this year, uh, actually next year. Sorry, but um. This guy needs to hurry it up because Jake's like in talks with like really like good like matchups, like fights that I couldn't see JJ in anytime soon. So I don't understand how he's expected to just get go through Jake when he's fighting Dylan Dennis. Now, it might be a smart move because he might want to progress up, you know. He doesn't want to like rush things and fight someone that might be a bit too much for him right now, but. I'm disappointed, man, because his last two fights were fucking, was a joke. And his skills are mediocre. If they're, they're not, he's not even that much of a skilled boxer. He, he doesn't really do any, anything that I'm like, whoa, JJ looked very good there. Oh, his footwork's amazing. Oh, wow. Like, his last two opponents didn't want to win at all. They ran away from him. They didn't try to fucking win that fight. They didn't try to hurt him. They didn't try to punch him. They didn't do anything special in there. They just ran around like retards. That's all they did. They're just... It was a money grab. And now he's fighting uh, Dylan Dennis. Like, that's such a joke, man. And, I, and people have to wait like two months for this. Buy a ticket for this absolute joke. Like, all these other YouTube boxers are doing braver things than JJ. Gibb is a higher ranked, in my opinion, because he's fighting, like, Austin McBroom, who had a win in boxing. He fought Taylor Holder. You know, Jay Swingler just got a win. Like, these guys are way better than the guys JJ's fighting. And JJ's supposed to be seen as, like, one of the best YouTube boxers, but he's not even fighting anyone that is... Um, on that level whatsoever, Dylan Dennis can't punch, bro. He sucks. He's, he's a horrible fucking striker, and he's fucking getting in there in a boxing match. That is an absolute piss take from JJ. I'm, I'm and I'm a fan of KSI. I like him. I think he's funny, you know. But I don't think this is a, a good fight. I really don't. I, I'm not gonna be impressed by him. And I'm like, he needs to make this look really easy. And even then, I'm not gonna be impressed because that's what he should have done. So what are we gonna leave? After this fight, we're going to leave thinking, oh, well, JJ just beat Dylan Dennis. Wow, what a big deal. You know, Jake progressed his competition. JJ's best win is Logan. And Logan is not a winning boxer at all. So it kind of tells you all you need to know about his resume. He hasn't fought great competition. And, you know, I just don't like this matchup as a, you know, as a fan of, of JJ. You know, I like his videos. I think he's pretty funny, but whatever. Um... But as a fan of, you know, combat sports in general, like, this is a joke. And I'm, as much as I am a fan of JJ, his boxing is not that good. Like, Jake would flatline him unless he improves or unless he finds a new way to go in there and perform differently and add some new uh, skills, add some new uh, ideas in there in his uh, boxing, you know. Maybe he needs to, you know, change things up and be a bit more uh, unorthodox, in my opinion, to beat Jake. 
Like, he needs to just do better, in my opinion, because what, from what I've seen of him, he's a tough, scrappy guy with power. That's it. That's all I need to know. And Jake probably has the edge on him in power anyway, so I don't see how he's going to catch up to Jake unless, you know, it's not. it can't be next year because then he's just rushing it. But, yeah, it's a joke of a fight. I think JJ's going to get a knockout in whatever round he pleases to, but... I hope he fights someone better than Dylan Dennis next time, like a Woodley. Like, that fight was supposed to happen, but he, he didn't sign it. And Jake actually stepped up to fight Woodley. He stepped up to fight Woodley when Woodley was younger. Now, JJ isn't even willing to step up to fight an older Woodley who just got knocked out. Like, what is going on? Why would Woodley turn that down? There's a lot of money in that. JJ is turning these fights down, and he's taking on the easy guy in Dylan Dennis. Everyone would have been better than Dylan Dennis. And he, we end up here. This guy can't even speak properly. He sounds... He just mumbles words you, like you think he's already been knocked out like 10 times by the way he talks. It's just shit, you know, and he probably has been, you know, because he sucks on the feet. You know what I mean? Like he's probably been knocked out so many times in sparring because, you know, he's Dylan Dennis. He can't box. He can't strike. You know, if he wins this fight, I don't know what I'm going to do, bro. I really don't know what to think if, J uh, if Dylan Dennis wins this fight. So... My prediction is JJ wins by a mid-rounds TKO, and we move on, and hopefully he fights someone somewhat decent in the boxing department, and we move on to bigger and better things. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm sorry if you got offended by it, uh, but I don't care. Uh, I, think, I think this is a joke, and I am a bit upset that people are even giving this attention. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.